Hello beautiful flowers and welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome, thank you so much for clicking on this video, and if you are returning, welcome back and thank you for your support. In today's video, we're going to be doing my weekly check-in. This is for the third week, I believe the third week of January, so let's just go ahead and see how I did on my expenses this week. Alright, so let's open on up to our monthly spread. We are going to be laying down our stickers, um, just checking in on what I spent. Overall, I don't think it was too bad of a week. So I've got my stickers all written out and I just need to lay them down. Um, so the first one I need to talk about <laughs> is this. So on the 14th, I originally had a, I originally had it as a no spend because when I filmed my no spend, it was towards the end of the day and I really hadn't spent any money. But then I saw my girl, Budget with Emmy, she posted that she had a new product um, on her website and I had to get it. It was her um, like budget kit, oh, I'll try and think of the name of it, not budget kit, her fitness kit, where like she would print out like three months of like her fitness trackers and like stickers and all this other stuff. I had to get it, okay? I had to get it. So. It turns out the 14th was not a no spend day, so I did remove our no spend sticker. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put what I did spend on her shop, and then I will be pulling that out of a sinking fund today. So just wanted to clear the air. <laughs> I did remove my no, in, no spend sticker for that day. All right, the 15th was a no spend day. We did have our Verizon bill pull, but I don't count bills as spending, so it was a no spend for everything else. All right, the 16th, we did do just one expense. We got, we ate out. Um, Sundays are my like cheat meal. I get one cheat meal a week and I chose Culver's. So we just used our dining out cash, our eating out cash, and we spent 19 bucks on Culver's. And then the 17th was our big spend day for the week. It's when I did like all my grocery shopping for the week and all that stuff. So. The first one I did was, oh my gosh, I completely forgot to write it down. Well, I thought I was prepared. The first thing I did was Costco. I had to do my Costco haul and I did that for 98 bucks. And I'm so mad because I had all of the cash ready to go. I completely forgot my envelope. <laughs> so I had to put this on my card. So first stop that morning was Costco and I spent 98. Um, and the only reason I didn't spend more than that was because they were out of quite a few things. Well, they didn't have a few, quite a few things that I was looking for, um, but that's okay. I found them elsewhere. So 98 at Costco on the 17th. And then next up came our regular groceries. We spent 48 in cash at Aldi. Ooh, I feel like I'm gonna run out of space on this one. I might not, I might not, I might be okay. And then we also, I couldn't find everything I needed at Aldi, so I do the rest of my grocery shopping at Walmart, and um, that was $15 in cash. So, gonna lay that one down. I never seem to find everything I need at Aldi, but that's okay, because the things that, you know, they do have are great. Great prices. Okay, and yes, there was one more thing on the 17th. Wow, this is a really big spending day. Um, so the last thing on the 17th was, so I got an espresso machine for Christmas and I finally ran out of like the pods that my, my sister got it for me. I finally ran out of the pods that were gifted to me. So I needed to purchase some more, but I wasn't quite sure what fund to take them out of. So I'm going to be taking it out of whatever's left over of our grocery fund, my spending, and then I think our miscellaneous. It's going to be a mixture, but I ordered like a ton of pods and so... There was, it was like 60 bucks all together. So that was it for the 17th. So as you can see, a very, very, very big spend day. However, the 18th was a no spend day. So I'm really excited about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and, oh no, these ones do not like me. They're so cute though, these no spend stickers. Cause they have the Home Alone boy, Kevin, I think. All right, so the 18th was a no spend, perfect. All right, the 19th, the only spending we did on the 19th was eating out. So we had Noodles and Company, so good. And then the 20th, the only spending we did on the 20th was, 
um, a grocery expense. Um, Zach just had to pick up a few things for work, so. Just a few things I forgot early, earlier in the week. So there is that. And then there is one thing I missed on here. Zach got gas earlier in the week. That was on the 17th as well. But I'm running out of space. Oh no, I don't wanna cover up. I'm gonna put it right here. Sorry, 24th, you're kind of getting covered up. Um, okay, that is all of our spending for the week. So let's go ahead. Oh no, today's the 21st. I promise myself I'm not gonna spend any more money. I'm gonna lay down a no spend for today. I'm not gonna spend any more, okay? So today we did not spend anything. Perfect. So let's actually count up my no spends for the week. So the 14th was my last check-in. So since then we've got one, two, three. So last week we really only had two no spends and then this week we had three. So we're at three, five, seven. So I need, for this last week, I need three no spends. Can I do it to reach my goal of 10 no spend days? Can I do it? We'll find out. So let's go ahead and get out the envelopes I need to, to um, pull money from them to reimburse any purchases I made on my debit or credit card. All right, so let's go ahead and start here at the beginning of the week. Um, the first thing I'm gonna pull is that expense from the 14th. I'm deciding to pull that from health because even though it's on a medical bill, it like, to me, it technically is something that is for my health. It was, um, you know, so let's see, that was $45. So let's see, I've got 20, 30, 45. Because it was like, it was like fitness and health focused. I just feel like it's okay to pull it from my health envelope. It just makes sense to me personally. So, all right. So that was on the 14th. So 114, I'm going to put EWE budget with Emmy minus 45. So I had 199 and I took 45. So I should have 154 now. So 150, one, two, three, and four. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get that back in there. So there is that first one taken care of. Check that off. And then we do have our bill. So our Verizon bill did pull on the 15th. So I am going to take that out of my phone envelope. It was $140. Well, it was like 139 something, but I always just, you know. So I should have 140 in here. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40. Perfect. Set that off to the side and get my Sharpie out. And that was on the 15th. So 115 minus 140. And now we have zero in there. Let that dry a little. All right, perfect. So there is that one taken care of. Moving on to the 16th, we just have to take, um, actually let's do both of our dining out. So I need to get my wallet out for this. So we had eating out 19th, we spent, or sorry, 19th, on the 16th, we spent $19 on our card, and on the 19th, we spent 41. So that should be 60, which I think is exactly what we have in our envelope. So we spent all of our eating out money. Oh, I'm sorry, the 19 wasn't on our, that was in cash, sorry. 41 was on the card, so we should have 41 here. 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, perfect. So this is taken care of because we did that in cash and then we ordered um, DoorDash, the 41. So there's our 41 to reimburse our card. These do not wanna sit well when they are, when they have been, okay. Um, the next thing I want to do before I pull that Nespresso, I want to see what we have left over. So I'm going to pull that last because I know I have another grocery expense. So Costco, we do need to pull that. So let me get out my Costco envelope. We spent 98 out of it. Is it in this one? Oh no, I think Costco's in my other one. It's a newer envelope, so I'm still trying to remember where it is. Here it is. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull 98 if we can. I'm not sure if we will be able to. 
I might have to just do 100. Ooh, or I might do 97. That's okay. So 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97. 50, 70, 80, 95, 6, 7. So 97. Throw that in here. It's okay that I'm a dollar off. I'll be fine. So we took 97. And that expense was on the 17th. So I'm just going to say Costco. Even though this is the Costco thing. So 97. So 107 minus 97. Oh my gosh, I could have done that. I had $10. And that's perfect because we have $10. Alright, so there is our Costco taken care of. Aldi was in cash. Walmart was in cash. Okay, then we do have a few subscriptions. So let's just knock those out while we're here. So we have my Fitness Marshall subscription pulled. So that was $16.04. Um, we had Spotify for $10.59. We had Disney Plus for $8.47. And it looks like that is it. So 35.10. So let's try and pull 35. It's my bills binder. Here it is. So let's do to our subscriptions and see what we have got going. 20, 30, and 5. Oh, I just put a so confused. I was like, what are these tens doing in my 20s? So 10, or sorry, 20, 30, and 5. So then these were various dates. So I'm not gonna write each individual one so, because that would take forever. So let's just do it for today's date, the 21st. And we took out 35, so we should have 25. Oh, 20, there should just be 20 left. 20, and we do have 20. Perfect. That is taken care of. I'm trying to be a little bit more speedy with these because I know they can get kind of long. <laughs> so, all right, so Fitness Marshall is taken care of, Spotify, Disney Plus. Okay, we only have a few more left, guys. So, Zach's gas was $29. I did not get gas this week, so we should have a little bit of rollover in that. So, I might just pull 30 from gas because it might be difficult to get that 29. So let's just go ahead and pull 30. And look, we will have a little bit of rollover in gas. That is awesome. All right, there's gas taken care of. We still have to come back to that Nespresso, but let me see what else we got going on. I think the last thing we have is that grocery for $5. So let's pull that out. So that is taken care of. Now, we have our Nespresso. So the Nespresso order was $60. I think I got like 70 pods. I only drink, espre es is it espresso? Not that I only drink it, like I'm elite or something, but I just prefer espresso because I put protein shakes in it and it's just, they taste really good. So um, espresso just works better than having like a full coffee pod. So they're like 80 some cents a piece. I got like 70. Turned out to be 60 bucks for the whole order. So let's see what I've got. I'm going to use whatever I have in groceries and whatever I have in my spending. And then whatever this is left is going to come out of our miscellaneous. So let's see. It would have been so nice to have this in rollover, but I needed the pods. <laughs> so I think I'm going to start a coffee sinking fund. I know another sinking fund, but... I think it's necessary because I love my Nespresso machine and, you know, it's okay. It'll be fine. So I have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay. So 60 minus 37. So I need to pull $23. 23 from my miscellaneous, which I have. I believe I have. I hope I have $23 in miscellaneous. So, here is miscellaneous, 20, 1, 2, and 3, perfect. Man, we have a lot of money going back to the bank this week. 
And I thought I didn't do that bad on spending. Okay, so that was on the 17th. I'm gonna put an espresso and I will be more prepared in the future for this. So we had 78 in there, minus 23. So we should have hopefully 55. 20, 30, 40, 55. Yay. All right. So the last thing to do is to add up all of the expenses that we did on the card and make sure that it matches the amount of cash that we have over there. So let me really quickly grab my calculator and total those up. All right, so we should have $453 if I totaled everything right. So that's between bills and our spending on our card. So let's go ahead and see what we've got. I'm gonna go ahead and set this 50 to the side here. Hopefully we have 453. So I've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Let's set this over here. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. So 50, 70, 80, 90, 300. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 400. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, and 53. Perfect. I was really afraid that was not going to work. So we do have $453. So I will be taking all of this back to the bank and so that I can pay off my credit card um, and reimburse my checking account. So thank you so much for joining me in today's video. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and make sure to hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.